we've definitely seen them we've seen sponsored ads of them just popping up everywhere and they are known obviously as a great tool to help you identify a plant hopefully now in 2021 we will have the opportunity to travel and these apps are a great way to see if you can find out what the genus and botanical name of a plant is, whether you are just out and about exploring nature or you find a misnamed plant at a plant nursery or a grocery store. So I decided to put these plant ID apps to the test. The app that I am starting off for this plant ID app series is called Leaf Snap. I have seen this app particularly on sponsored ads a lot, so I thought it was very fitting to start off this video with this particular app. And to test it out, I have five different plants here. Some of them for important reasons, some of them no particular reason. I just put them in to see what the app, I'm pretty sure I've said the word app like several times already, but to see what the app picks up. So if you guys are ready, then let's get into it. Let's get this screen record going because that would suck. All right, so I am entering a leaf snap. Okay, easy. We are going to take a photo. So the first plant that I'm gonna start off with is my Hoya Croniana Eskimo. And I will give a B-roll about all these different plants so you can see them better, but for this plant in particular, it's one of my favorites, obviously, and I was curious about the foliage, the speckled foliage, and if it would pick up as just a regular Croniana, an Eskimo, Super Eskimo, so that is a good photo. Let's do that. Okay, beautiful photo. Use this. Choose related type. It is a leaf. Here we go, guys. That's an ad, okay. All right, guys, so it did not get the first plant right. I think, okay, so it has a whole list, a whole list going. The first one is a genus that I'm not familiar with. It's called Hypoestus. Hypoestus, and the common name is a flamingo plant. So what do these, okay, so I mean, I can see how it picked this because this plant is very popular for speckled foliage and that's what the Eskimo has. So I give it props. I can definitely see how this could be ID'd this genus. The second one is a Scadapsis pictus. Again, some silverians in here. I can see that, but the leaf shape of a Scadapsis is a lot bigger. Maybe it's not picking up that these are very small leaves. I don't know if I should take the camera kind of back a little bit so the size of the leaf is more to scale, but very interesting. I like how Leaf Snap gives you the option to read more about the specific genus if you would like to. There's the Epiprenum Penatum and going down the list, there is a lot more. And there's also a function to correct the result, which I think is really good. And I'll probably do that after this video. So if anyone is trying to take a picture of my Hoya Croniana Eskimo or any of these plants, they'll get the accurate result. But okay, that was Plant one, let's move on to the second plant. 
The second plan that I'm going to try out is my Monstera Standaliana Aurea. Can you guys see that? Yes, you can. It is a little bit beat up, but I'm just curious what variegation is going to do to the identification process. If it still gives me Monstera Standaliana, I am perfectly okay with that, but I love yellow variegation, as you know, and this plant has become one of my favorites. It's such a fast grower and really low maintenance. So I am going to test this out. So I am going to put this plant, let me, let me put these other plants down so the Leaf Snap app doesn't get any of these additional leaves in the background. So here it is, here is this plant. What leaf? I'm gonna try to do this leaf. Is the camera focusing? I'm gonna do this leaf. I think that is the perfect one. So I'm gonna put you right there and let's get this going. Now I wanna make sure I get a good view. Yep, that is good. Use this photo. It's interesting because I'm sure you can tell that leaf snap doesn't just do leaves. It does flowers, fruit, and bark. So that is very cool. But of course, it is a leaf. Is it gonna get it right, guys? We got an ad. Oh, wow. It did not get it right. Did not get it right. It looks like Epi Prendum is the genius that it's getting. The second one is, or the first one is the Epipremnum, Epipremnum Orium and then Epipremnum Penatum. Again, I can see why it's picking that up. It very much looks like a regular pothos, a golden pothos. I can totally see it, but the variegation is just stronger when it comes to the Monstera Staniliana. It's more stripes and patches versus what you'll see in a pothos. And the leaf shape is a lot longer and more of an elongated teardrop shape versus a regular Epipremnum that has more of a rounder, kind of like sweetheart teardrop shape. I hope I'm making sense. Leaf Snap, if you're watching this, I can definitely sympathize with you. I really can. I can see why you would think a Monstera Sanaliana Aurea is the Epipremnum, but we are zero for two. I'm really hoping they get the Silver Sword right. I feel like you may think the Silver Sword is a Scandapsis Tribuine White. We'll see, because that's gonna be the next plant. But, okay guys, on to plant number three. My silver sword is one of my babies. She has grown a lot and getting bigger leaves. I am so proud of that. I think the blue sheen is gorgeous on this plant. So we'll see what blue colored leaves do with leaf snap. So here we go. And while I'm doing this, guys, if you have any recommendations on other plant ID apps I should do for this series, let me know in the comments because I would love to do more. I have a list of some that I've seen online and different Google articles on what the best plant ID apps are. So let me know, guys. Let me know what your thoughts are. Focus, focus. Really hoping my cheetah print nails <laughs> don't mess it up. I think, yeah, I think that's a solid photo. Here we go. We're zero for two. Let's see. And the result is... We got it, guys! We got it, it got it. Philodendron Hostatum. Nice. Very nice. Okay, now that I'm actually reading the description, it says the species has previously been known by synonyms such as a philodendron domesticum. That is very interesting because I know variegated domesticums are super hot right now. I would never think that this would be close to a domesticum, probably the leaf shape, but 
I am stoked. I am stoked because the point of these ID apps are to help us. So obviously I'm way more stoked when the app gets it correct. So this is a point for Leaf Snap. Very excited about that. This is the fourth plant, the second to last plant, and yes, it is variegated. I hope I'm not cheating. I don't think it's cheating because I'm just curious to see what variegated foliage does to a plant and picking it up. If it is, if the app does get it as just a regular philodendron gigantium, then I will be okay. But I guess that's cheating though because it has speckles on it. You know what? Let's just let's just keep going, right? Because we're we're already here. So I'm gonna take a picture of this leaf. I hope I am in frame, and let's do this. So here we go. This is the plant that I got from Miss Kaylee Ellen. She is adapting not as fast as I would like, but you know, still love her nonetheless. So here we go. Solid photo, it's thinking, and okay, I mean, it got it wrong. First one is the Epipremnum Orium. One of these looks like an elbow, is this an elbow that's showing right here? Because it has a fenestration. I mean, even with the foliage, it's completely different, but I can see why, again, with the Epipremnum Orium, because it has those stripes of white. This is more speckled though, it's kind of more modeled when it comes to its variegated foliage. The next one is Philodendron. Well, it got Philodendron Heterasium. I'm seeing some regular Berla marks here for Philodendron Heterasium. So, I mean, the second option of the genius philodendron was correct, but again, I don't know. I wonder just in general with plant ID apps, how much data it has on variegated plants because as we know, variegation is in, it's been in, it's here to stay. If anything, the market will just continue to explode with variegated plants and all of us want to get it. So I'm just curious in general how up to date these apps are when it comes to variegated plants because I'm not trying to fool the system here. I'm really not. I'm, I've just been, you know, curious to see if it would capture it. So, so far with the two plants that were variegated, it did not get them right. But the next plant is something very unique, very different. So that will either, you know, make it or break it, work in the app's favor or not. So let me show you that plant. The last plant, she's a little damaged. Again, I keep telling myself, no plant parent is perfect, but it is my Cercestus mirabilis. I have no idea if I am still saying that right or wrong. This is the best leaf. It is a little bit burnt at the bottom. I'm still experimenting with my greenhouse and the lighting, but this is the leaf and I think it's beautiful. So again, as I mentioned, this could work in leaf snaps favor. I was about to say flavor. Favor because it's just so different. I don't know guys, we'll see. If you think, let's pause this video, if you think that Leaf Snap is going to get this plant right, leave it in the comments below. Come on, let's end it on a good note. I would love for this plant to be correct. All right, so that is the leaf. Use this photo, guys. Let's end strong, let's end strong. Leaf snap, I know you can do it. No guys, that is a no. So the first one is a caladium, a caladium bicolor. Now let's look at the foliage. So. This first picture that I'm seeing, it does have very ornate veins when it comes to its leaves. So that is the only reason why I can see a similarity. And I mean, 
I get it. I get why it's similar. At the same time, it's not it. It's not it. The second and third choices were syngoniums. Are they the same? Just syngonium podophyllum, syngonium angustatum? Angustatum. Hmm. I'm wondering why it's picking up syngonium though, because the foliage just looks completely different. Like the caladium bicolor, I can see why, but syngoniums are just, even with syngoniums, like all these pictures, they're extremely different as far as the veining and the pattern. So syngoniums, I'm not really, I don't really agree with. That is it guys. Thank you for tuning in to today's video. Leaf Snap does get a score of 20 out of 100, one out of five. It's very interesting to kick off this series with a identification app that I've known to be very popular and that I've seen on social media. Again, I will do my part in the plant community, take pictures of these plants and correct the results. So if you guys find these plants anywhere while you're hopefully traveling in 2021 that you get the right ID. That is it guys. I will leave you to the rest of your day. Thank you for tuning in and staying with me on the journey of this video. I love you guys so much and we'll see y'all 